hard drives have come a long way since the early days of the PC. And starting off with the earliest one that I have, this is from 1983. This is a Seagate ST412, which is a massive double height, five and a quarter MFM hard drive that's nestled nicely inside of this PC XT with a capacity of a whopping 10 whole megabytes. And it's connected to its matching MFM controller card here, which was needed to run the drive since, you know, back in the 80s. You had to have a controller card to run the drive. Just a few years later though, uh, things shrunk down. This is still five and a quarter wide, but this is now a single height uh, MFM hard drive. This is the Seagate ST213. This hails from 1983 and it's about the same capacity. I think it's about 12 megabyte. And roughly around the same time was these RLL drives. Now there is some things about RLL and MFM, but you know, that's not the scope of this video. Anyway, these hail from about the same time and they're both single height full width five and a quarter hard drives. At some point, hard drives shrunk down again with this double height three and a half inch drive from Western Digital. This one's kind of a weird one. At around this time, there was also XT capable drives that was usually found in the Tandys and AT capable drives that were found in the PC and uh, AT clones. Yeah, it uses a very familiar IDE style plugin, even though it's not technically by this time eight, uh, IDE. It was, I think, believe it's called Winchester at the time. Hard drive shrunk down even further with this single height three and a half inch drive. By this point, it was now called IDE and the capacity had also jumped up to roughly about 400 to 500 megabytes. I should also mention that Apple at the time was also using single height three and a half inch drives, but they used the 50 pin SCSI standard for better speed. However, the three and a half inch standard continues on to this day, such as this SATA based drive from roughly 2012 with a capacity of 320 gigabytes. Even though laptops did get these really nice two and a half inch drives, whether in IDE or SATA, they were basically identical. They were about this size. This evolved quickly into the two and a half inch solid state drives like this SSD X300, 120 gigabyte from SanDisk. Still uses the SATA protocol, but with solid state, these things were much, much faster, much smaller, much lighter, and much more energy efficient. Hard drives shrunk one last time to these M.2 style drives that are currently the de facto standard for most builds now. They are tiny, they're solid state, they're wicked fast, and and I also believe the capacities are quite high as well with some of these reaching eight to 16 terabytes with some of these three and a half inch SATA drives hitting nearly up to 24 terabytes. And yeah, I'm skipping over hard drives like the Finch drives and the Hawk drives that were found in a lot of the mainframe style computers of the 70s and 80s. But for the most part on the PC line, hard drives have come a very long way. 